In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will, we may gain eternal salvation. Amen. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins unto God and prepare ourselves for the holy sacrifice which we will offer. Please make in examination of conscience. Having confessed our sins unto God, I will recite the Confidior. Almighty Father, you know my deepest secrets. I confess that I have through my own fault sinned against your holy laws. In my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do. I sincerely regret my sins and I am truly sorry for offending you. I ask, Father, that in your mercy you pardon my sins. I promise to change my way of living so that through a deeper holiness I may better serve you throughout the rest of my life. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, the eyes of all hopeful to you. You give them their food in due season. You open wide your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, 
and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come with minds that are hungry for truth and souls that are thirsty for forgiveness, and with wills that are seeking direction. You have invited us to the banquet of love. Feed us, refresh us, forgive us, and gladden us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. On this, the 18th Sunday in the Ordinary, the first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, All you who are thirsty, Come to the water. You who have no money, come eat grain and receive. Come without paying and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread? Your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen that you might have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's psalm is taken from Psalm 145. And the response is, The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all, and compassionate toward all his works. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The eyes of all look hopefully to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The second reading for today is taken from the letter of St. Paul the Apostle to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, what will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? No, in all these things we conquer, overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor, nor depth, 
nor any living creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. He brings me into the banquet hall, and his emblem over me is love. Alleluia, alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory be to you, Lord. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowds so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, There is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven. He said the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up the fragments left over, twelve wicker baskets full. Those who ate were about 5,000 men, not counting women and children. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. by all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread. From the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 11. And he said unto them, Blessed are you who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for you shall be filled. Words taken from the Gospel of St. Matthew, Chapter 5, verse 6. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen to you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. When Jesus came into the world, the Word made flesh. He came into the world as light to teach people about God, His kingdom, and most importantly, 
the love that God has for each of us. The miracle of the feeding of the multitudes are recorded in all four Gospels. The story is basic. People came to hear Jesus and they did not have enough food to, to eat. While Matthew, Mark, and Luke speak of the circumstances of this feeding, it is only in John that Jesus goes into a great discourse of his divine identity. In the sixth chapter of John, we read of Jesus feeding the 5,000. Afterward, Jesus reminds his listeners of the Old Testament mono that God had sent from heaven to their ancestors, which for them became their daily bread. But now Jesus comes to provide them with more than physical bread. He comes to give unto them spiritual bread, the bread not for their bodies, but rather for their souls. In John chapter 6, Jesus saying, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall never hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. He goes on in John 6.51 with these words, I am the living bread which has come down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give to the world is my flesh. We are reminded of this whenever we share in the Holy Eucharist. The consecrated bread, his body, his presence, reminds us of his life, his ministry, his teachings, all of which are a testimony to what he offered and offers to each of us, including, most importantly, the sacrifice on the cross. All of this would serve and serves as our spiritual daily bread. The good news of Jesus reminds us that when we are spiritually weak, when we seek comfort and mercy, and we turn to God, God sustains us and provides and nourishes us. In the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 27, we read where Jesus differentiates between the physical and the spiritual bread for sustenance. And Jesus said, Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father, God, has set his seal. Today's message is for each and every single one of us to look to God when we seek comfort and sustenance, to trust in God in his word, and to be faithful to the providence of God. We are given this assurance in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 31 through 34, where we read these words of Jesus. So do not worry and say, what are we to eat, or what are we are to drink, or what are we to wear? All these things the pagans seek. Your heavenly Father knows that you need all of them. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given unto you. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. 
And so, my dear brothers and sisters, each and every single one of us who come to the Lord for nourishment are like those who came to Jesus that day. They came to hear the good news of Jesus, and they were all filled. We read in today's Gospel where Paul speaks to the people at Rome. What will separate us from the love of God? And he goes through the complete list. To sum it up, there is nothing that separates us from God, only ourselves. May we pray in our hearts on a daily basis. Give us this day our daily bread. Not only the bread that we need for our physical needs, but most importantly for our spiritual souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Church, 
with its bishops, its clergy, that God would grant unto all of us who serve the Lord wisdom, counsel, and understanding. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our beloved holy name of Jesus Parish, for all its congregants and their loved ones, that the grace and peace and love of God might be in all our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful Father, accept these gifts and purify our hearts so that we do not come to the heavenly feast unworthily. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through his teaching and ministry, Jesus showed us how we are to live. 
giving our lives in service to you and all people, still hearing the word in our world today, we strive to follow his example and set our hearts on the world to come. Therefore, we join with the voices of the seraphim, the cherubim, the archangels, and all your angels, along with all the saints in the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory this day, repeating unceasingly, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and light, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. It is during today's Mass that we will offer up the Eucharistic prayer based on the canon of an early church father, St. Basil the Great. We acclaim you, Holy Lord, glorious in power. Your mighty works reveal your wisdom and love. You formed us in your own image, giving the whole world into our care, so that in obedience to you, our Creator, we might rule and serve all your creatures. When our disobedience took us far from you, you did not abandon us to the power of death. In your mercy, you came to our help so that in seeking you, we might find you. Again and again, you called us into covenant with you, and through the prophets you taught us to hope for salvation. Gracious God, you love the world so much that in the fullness of time you sent your only Son to be our Savior, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He lived as one of us, yet without sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, to the sorrowful joy. To fulfill your purpose, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the grave, destroyed death, and made the whole creation new. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose for us, he sent the Holy Spirit, his own first gift for those who believe, to complete his work in the world and to bring to fulfillment the sanctification of all. When the hour had come for him to be glorified, Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. At supper with them he took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Take and drink. This is my blood, the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. We now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, recalling Christ's death in the sent among the dead, proclaiming his resurrection and ascension to your right hand, 
awaiting his coming in glory and offering to you from the gifts you have given us this bread and this cup. We praise you and bless you. We praise you, we bless you, we give thanks to you, and we pray to you, Lord our God. We pray that in your goodness and mercy, your Holy Spirit may descend upon us and upon these gifts, sanctifying them and showing them to be holy gifts for your holy people, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that all who share this bread and this cup may become one body and one spirit, a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your name. Remember your one holy Catholic and apostolic church, redeemed by the blood of your Christ. Reveal its unity, guard its faith, and preserve it in peace. Remember Anthony, our prime bishop, Paul, our bishop, and all who minister in your holy church. Remember all your people and those who seek your truth. Remember all who have died in the peace of Christ, whose faith is known to you alone. Bring them into the place of eternal joy and light, and grant that we might find our inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, with our ancestors in faith, with the prophets, apostles, martyrs, and saints, who have found favor with you in ages past. We praise you in union with them and give you glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Through Christ, and with Christ and in Christ. All honor and glory are yours, creator of all, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever, Amen. let us pray with confidence to the Father, in the words our Savior gave us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The cup of blessing, which we bless, is it not a participation? In the blood of Christ, the bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. May you receive the peace and blessing of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ within your hearts this day. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And now, we offer a prayer, the communion prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, may I possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food. And may the gifts that I have received this day bring me healing and strength now and forever. Amen. Mm -hmm.
dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you this day as we offer the holy sacrifice of the Mass. It is my prayer and blessing that God might watch over all of us, keep all of us safe and healthy. And may we ever walk forth in the Word of God and in His Spirit. May God bless all of us until we meet again. We will conclude this morning with a prayer for the living as well as for the deceased, at which time we offer in our hearts our intentions unto God our Heavenly Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for all our faithful departed. Eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord. May perpetual light shine upon them. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.